Until the last video in this lesson, we were converting coordinates. We converted polar to rectangular coordinates, rectangular to polar coordinates. Now over here, they are asking us to convert equations. See, rectangular equation to polar equation. Now, what does equation exactly mean? Anything that is having a equal to over here, you can see this equal to means equation. Whenever you equate something, theta equals 30 degrees, this is also an equation. Over here, in coordinates, you just have r and theta. There is no equal to. When you equate those both, you get an equation. Okay. So now over here, they have asked us to identify the graph of each rectangle equation. Looking at this, we need to identify and then write the equation in polar form. Support your answer by graphing the polar equation. This is plenty things to be done. But now let's do one by one. Looking at this graph, first of all, you must know this is a circular uh, graph. Why? Because the standard form of circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Now you can write this is in, in terms of x squared y squared and 4 squared so now you can easily tell sorry for that now you can easily tell this is a circular graph circle anyways you'll see that at the end how do we convert it you have been given this equation now let's uh, recall the conversion formulas which you used in the previous videos now the given equation is of circle okay but what do we convert x is r cos theta y is r sin theta let's substitute this over here instead of x put r cos theta instead of y put r sin theta and substitute it and simplify it sorry now over here you can see this this is a term r cos theta single term wherever multiplication is there it's a single minus there is one more term that's four this is in terms of a minus b the whole square so the formula for a minus b the whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square please don't forget this if this was plus a plus b the whole square this would be plus over here the middle part so now over here it's minus so let us square this r square cos square theta the first term r square cos square theta minus 2 times AB, the A term is R cos theta, B is 4. So let's all multiply all the numbers. 2 into 4, that is 8, a, uh, R cos theta. Plus B squared is 16, 4 squared is 16. Now over here, just square them up. Plus R squared sine squared theta equals 16. Now how do we simplify? So over here, you can take common terms out. So what do we do is, before taking common terms, let's keep r square and this over here together see you can see this r square and r square why because we can take the r square common out isn't it then everything else to the other side okay everything else this goes to the other side it becomes plus r 8 r cos theta here this becomes minus 16 so now this 16 16 cancels you're remaining with r 8 r cos theta but what about over here now you must remember sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1 which we studied in the previous um, uh, terms in trigonometry this is very very important pythagorean identity it's sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1 or cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1 so that is what we will do remove r square common over here what is remaining cos square theta plus sine square theta this is equal to 1 and over here what happens 16 16 cancels you're remaining with this much so over here now what happened is you have to simplify this to 1 can you see this this is into 1 so it's gone only r square remains but you're dividing both the sides by r so you're simplifying it further and what remains r equals 8 cos theta so this is final polar equation you can't simplify it further once you get r and you get cos theta and any r by over here anything is fine coefficients it's done so you need to simplify from here after you substitute till you get a simplified form so this is the simplified polar equation if this is the rectangular equation 
and this the same uh, thing can be written in polar in such form. Now the graph over here shows it's a circle. We have already studied whenever you have r any coefficient cos theta it's a circle even if it was sine theta it would be circle but only thing is cos will be along the x-axis and since it is positive 8 it's at the right side if it was minus 8 over here it would be like this my left side or if it was positive sine it would be upwards minus sine would be downwards so this is a circle graph similarly let's do one more problem here the same question but we have been given y equals x square looking at this you know this is a parabola x square is a parabola so this is the graph you can easily tell it how do we convert it same thing just like what we have done before now over here there is only uh, there is y over here and x square nothing nothing other than x and y so directly substitute the formulas here y is r sine theta x is r cos theta square the right side you'll get r square cos square theta so now you can cancel this r divide both the sides by r this cancels over here it will be r only r will remain okay or you can bring this r to the other side it will be the same thing only one r remains this cancels now cos square means it's cos into cos so take it to the other side it will be sine divided by cos theta into cos theta equals r but we know sine by cos is tan and one by cos is secant so simplify them it's just getting this is also the correct answer but we are trying to simplify as much as possible now when we simplify we get tan theta into secant theta equals r now this is the graph now this is the polar form of this particular rectangular equation so now we have learned to convert a rectangular to polar equations again i will just recall one important thing that is the formula x equals r cos theta and y equals r sin theta whenever you have been given a rectangular equation it will be in terms of x and y substitute these formulas and then simplify you will get the answer